हेलो एवरी वन दिस इज माई सेकेंड वीडियो ऑन द सेम टॉपिक दैट इज मॉक टेस्ट साइकिल टू मैथ स्पेशलाइजेशन सो वेलकम बैक टू माई वीडियो आई एम सॉल्विंग क्वेश्चन नंबर फाइव दिस क्वेश्चन बेसिकली इज रिलेटेड टू द टॉपिक इंडिसीज इन द न्यूमिनेटर द पावर ऑफ एक्स इज माइनस फाइव in the denominator the power of x is minus 9 and then we have a whole power that is 1 upon 2 so to simplify this first of all we need to shift this x having minus sign in the index to the numerator to make it positive so x power minus 5 and once i shift from denominator to the numerator its power become positive and then we have a whole power that is 1 upon 2 then we know that when we have same bases we can add the powers right so x power minus 5 plus x power 9 is equal to x power 4 with a whole power that is 1 upon 2 according to the rule of indices we can multiply power with the power so 4 multiply by 1 upon 2 can be cancel out and is equal to 2 so the final value of the x is x power 2 and this is our answer now i'm solving question number 6 this question is also related to the same topic that is indices so this is cube root of x square and one when i convert this radical form into the index form i can write the cube root as 1 upon 3 and the square root is equals to 1 upon 2 in the index form that is the radical form and uh, i can write the square root of 6 square root of 6 is equals to 1 upon 6 in the index form so first of all we will change all the radical forms into the index form so x power it's 2 upon 3 because 1 upon 3 will multiply with 2 let me explain this thing to you like we know that we have a cube root of x square so when i convert this radical form into the index form first of all i will write x square having a whole power that is 1 upon 3 and when i multiply 2 with 1 upon 3 this is equals to 2 upon 3 so that's why this is x power 2 upon 3 and multiply by x power 5 upon 2 okay and then we have x power x power 1 upon 6 in the denominator so we need to apply the same rule over here same basis multiplying with each other we will add the powers and when we have a division we can subtract the powers right so this is x power 2 upon 3 plus x power 5 upon 2 because these two have the same bases we can add them and then i will subtract 1 upon 6 from it because this is from the denominator side or you can say that the product is dividing with the denominator means it's a division so the, in the form of division we will subtract the powers so to solve these fractions i will multiply the first fraction by 2 the second fraction by 3 and the last fraction by 1 okay so the next step is x power 2 times 2 is 4 plus 5 times 3 is 15 minus 1 times 1 is 1 and divided by 6 then x is equals to 18 upon 6 and then finally we have x power cube and this is the answer of this particular question number 6 okay my next question is if the weight is directly proportional to the mass m given that w equals to 20 newton and the mass is equals to 4 kg find the weight when m is equals to 
we know that weight is directly proportional to the mass okay so first of all we need to form an equation that w is equals to k times the mass because when two quantities are directly proportional so there is a sign of pro, uh, there is a constant value that is having a relationship with both of the quantities that are directly proportional with each other okay so after this equation we know that the weight is 20 newton and the mass is 4 kg so with the help of these two values we can easily find out the constant value of k so 20 is equals to k times 4 and the value of k is equal to 20 divided by 4 that is 5 and when we get the value of k that is 5 we need to substitute the same value into the equation so equation becomes y equals to 5 times m to find out the weight we know the mass is 10 kg so weight is equals to 5 times the mass that is 10 so when the mass is 10 kg the weight is 50 newton and this is the answer of this particular question okay the next question is the ratio of the girls to the boys is 3 is to 2 it means we have overall overall five parts because this is the sum of the ratio so we have total parts are five and the girls are having three parts this these are the parts for girls and these are the parts for boys okay we know that we have 650 students in the school we need to find out the number of girls so we just need to apply the appropriate ratio to the sum to the total number of students to find out the number of girls so we know that the total number of students is 650 we want to find out the number of girls so girls has three parts out of the five parts we can simplify it 650 is divided by 5 it gives you 130 and then 130 multiplied by 3 is equals to 390 and these are the number of girls in the school so thank you so much um, i will upload more videos very soon thank you so much once again